Toys with Bob's a game developer. We develop games for uh, consoles predominantly. I think the one game that many of my friends were like, whoa, that place was uh, Star Control, specifically Star Control 2. I played Skylanders, but that was a long time ago. Um, God, it's been like 12. I'm just gonna make some of the people here feel old, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really scary to go into the game industry like right after college. And I was super glad that Toys for Bob was my first uh, step into the real life uh, game industry. It really feels like a group of friends making video games together. We are a very small kind of indie sized studio that's backed by a very large company. Uh, nice to have like kind of the benefits of a big corporation to like back you up, but like being a small team that everyone knows each other and it's like fun, creative work. There's a, a, a huge uh, collaborative environment, you know, and as a creative person, that's fantastic. Everyone can speak to anything going on in the game, whether it's you're in that department or not. It's almost like, um, like just making gumbo, right? Everybody's just throwing their ideas in and something awesome comes out of it. Uh, this was my first office job, so I was kind of nervous, and I had like this image in my head of like small cubicles and everything is gray. One side of the studio is tiki-themed, so you have surfboards and you have bamboo everywhere, and then you have one side of the studio that is pirate ship-themed. I feel like not everybody gets to work on a pirate ship. Yeah, so exactly. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> I tend to come in most days, and um, that, that works best for me. I like the idea of having a distinct leave the house, go to work, do work done with work, go home kind of vibe, right? We both um, decided, I guess, just to come into the office every day, um, just because that's what we like to do. Yeah, I'm 100% at work from home. Uh, we just, uh, whenever we go to the office, it's mainly for when we just do office events. Yeah, I'm 100% I'm remote right now. I actually live in Lake Tahoe. I'm from Los Angeles, um, along with like a couple of interns were, were from Los Angeles and are from Los Angeles. So it still works out surprisingly well, even with like the hundreds of miles of distance between us. Basically everyone I met today for the first time in person, which is crazy. I am one of the fortunate few who does not have a noisy house at home. I am in relative quiet and so that that works great for me and it's funny because you know we're like in completely different spots some people are even in different states and stuff and uh it just it still feels like we're all like on the same page in the same place it really does feel like a choice rather than like you know a compromise that you have to work from home or you have to come into the office it's more i get to choose and i get to have good reasons why i chose we definitely try to keep the culture the same as we have done when we were in studio. We just kind of adjusted what we've done for the work from home experience. We've always had a weekly sort of fun time, if you will. Uh, it's called Clang, it's on Fridays. Where kind of virtually we get in a room and we just do something. We set up a Zoom call where literally everyone's invited and we could go there and... Uh, like playing a video game or sometimes, you know, they'll like send us plants to put in the potter and they'll have like activities for us to do. Uh, one of our clings showed everyone how to make pie. So <laughs> people were invited, here's the ingredients, make pie with me. And that was a lot of fun. Yeah, we made mosaics. We have a mosaic yeah, over there. We did <laughs> make a mosaic. <laughs> Mine broke. The Smash Brothers tournament is a real thing. Um, I am not competitive enough for that, but it is really fun to watch. And then also, um, we're doing something else today as well. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we're having a barbecue. And so just like coming in together and getting everyone down here and even like me, me meeting people who I've never met before, starting so recently, kind of getting everyone in there and just having a good time. This is a very nice and cultivating work environment that I'd recommend anyone to be a part of. Like I've always felt very, very supported at the studio. Um, I feel like it's the kind of place where um, everyone's voice can be heard. Everyone here just, they put in everything they've got into everything they do. The people we work with are awesome people and they're all caring for each other and they all pick each other up and support each other. Toys for Bob does this kind of cool thing where they give you what's called a mentor or a buddy when you come in. I am Ben's buddy, coincidentally. Yeah, I show up my first day, he's kind of like, I'm your buddy, right? And then kind of from there, right, just kind of hanging out, you know, stop by, the, uh, stop by my desk, kind of just talk. I mean, work's already fun, but it makes it even more fun when you like the people that you're doing it with and, it, and when you know them well. 
I think if anyone is considering coming to work for Toys for Bob, they should just do it. This is the best place ever. You work with brilliant people in all different areas of video games and engineering and design and art. So whatever you do, there's a spot for you here. You know, if, if you're very smart and wonderful, I think you'll fit in very well here. You'll find a lot of people who are also smart and wonderful. There's a lot of opportunities to grow here and it's an experience not worth missing out. This is the type of studio where you can actually just be who you are and you're embraced. I've spent a decade here for a reason. It's been a great place for me to work, and I think we make it a good place for others to work. We like to have people grow here and uh, be creative here and be safe here, and uh, we're hiring. <laughs>